Okay, everybody. So I am trying uh, this right here, all-purpose gluten-free flour from Walmart. So what I'm trying here, oh, that's what they look like, okay, is I got this recipe for some dinner rolls. Now, if anybody else is gluten-free, they're going to know it is so hard to get this. So I'm doing this. Can you guys see it? This is the recipe on the back of the package. Follow it exactly. And I'll let you know how it turns out. Okay. Okay, everybody. So this is what they look like. The great value gluten-free dinner roll recipe off the back of the package. They look better than any of the other ones I've done, which have been miserable fails. So let's see. That is so hot. Let's... Gonna crack one open. Oh, look at that! Oh, that looks so nice, don't it? Can you see that? Look at that! Yum! All right, so here we go. We're gonna give it a try. Okay, so I'm sorry. I really like my carbs, and being gluten free is very, very hard to get this without having to pay so much money for it. So, thank you very much. I finally found a dinner roll recipe that works. It only took me three years. Three years. You gotta try it. If you're gluten free and you have trouble, like I do, finding stuff that you really enjoy and you miss a lot. Um, this is definitely going to be a go-to from now on. It is perfect. And I bet you could even use that recipe with regular flour. It'd be so amazing. I promise. Because I used to bake all the time with that stuff. I miss it. This was super simple. It took me less than 20 minutes to mix up, 20 minutes to cook. The longest was the waiting for everything to rise, which is about 45 minutes. Um, I said to do it exactly like the package, but I couldn't because, excuse me, um, I don't have a stand mixer or an electrical mixer, so I did everything on the package except for instead of adding everything in dry and adding the water in later, I put the sugar, the water, and the yeast in a bowl in warm water and let it rise and froth and then mixed everything together because I had to do it by hand. And then I added the egg and the vinegar and then, excuse me. And then I did the butter last because I didn't want the scalding hot melted butter to kill my yeast. So definitely if you do the butter um, and it tells you it needs to be melted, do not put it directly in after the microwave or the stove top or however you melt your butter down because you will kill your yeast and they won't rise properly. Uh, that's just baking 101 for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever you can do. Every in, Any interaction is very much appreciated. You guys have a great day.